Hey guys, what's up? So, take a look at this. This is a uh, Fluke 101 pocket multimeter. So yeah, I was in the market for another multimeter uh, after my little uh, Radio Shack Micronta got stolen. Had the thing for like 10 years, loved it. The cool little multimeter is tiny. And, uh, but uh, yeah, to get something new. And actually, this is the first time I've ever seen this from Fluke, this pocket multimeter, so I thought it looked pretty cool. And it wasn't expensive either, it was only 40 bucks on Amazon. Put a link on it. But, um, it's a 600 volt. And does uh, AC DC voltage to 600 volts, resistance, continuity, diode, uh, capacitance, frequency. So, I'm probably not going to be messing with a lot of that stuff um, because I do actually have a more advanced multimeter that I use to test electronics. But mainly for me, for voltage and continuity. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do too, also, was get a multimeter. Um, that didn't actually run on watch batteries. My 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 Kranta actually ran on watch batteries, and I don't know which one is. Okay, so that's that's not a good sign. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign to have batteries actually shipped in the multimeter. I mean, it looks clean. Let's see. The plastic strips on there. I don't usually like to see things... I don't like when batteries actually come in something like this. That are... There's no protection. There's no removal strip. It makes me think it's used and returned. So... You know what I mean? Energizer, too. The fact that they're not some like Chinese brand. If they were Chinese brand, that would be okay. Well, maybe. The fact that they're Energizer. But yeah, AAAs. I wanted something that had a AAA. Easier to find batteries than like a watch battery. So let's actually see if this thing works. Now I'm a little worried. <laughs> the fact that there were batteries in there. Let me hook up my, uh, my little test power supply. If you can't see, it's the 12 volt right there. Turn it on. So I first uh, want to test... Uh, Switching the laser back here. Okay, put these in here. Hey, not bad for 40 bucks. I mean, it's like all stuff from Fluke now, it looks like it's made in China. But, uh, okay, it's also missing a cap. No, actually, no, it is have a it does, cap, is right here. Like a protective cap. Yeah, that, that's definitely suspect, the batteries. So, let's do uh, voltage. I guess it's AC. Okay. Looks good. I mean, that's not accurate 100% with my thing over there, but I don't know if this if this is more accurate or my uh, power supply. Like, this says 12.37, and that says 12.2. But, um... Okay, let's take that off. I'm not going to test all the functionality of it, but I just want to see how easy this is to figure it out here. Let's see, I'm trying to do this right now. wanted to keep the... I'm not, I don't use these things very often, so I wanted to kind of keep this thing together. Actually, I'll, I'll just end up using a piece of Velcro. Um... All right, let's see what we got going here. Okay, that's resistance. There you go, continuity. Oh, my dad, can you rip those off? Can you get those off? Hold on. Off. There you go, my resistor box here. Keep a lot of resistors. Um, wow. Well, all right. Uh, let's try some of these. Yeah, I keep a lot of capacitors and diodes and resistors. All right. Mm -hmm. I forgot your pad. Mm -hmm. All right, kids. Mm -hmm. 
to learn to read and write. All right, cool. Okay. Let's test the resistance here. We have to get them on. Go back and uh, let's diode. Let's try. So this will be a uh, half watt, 560 ohm. What? <laughs> Pretty close. All right, so resistance works. Well, I don't think I'm going to bother with a diode tester, but it's supposed to be able to test capacitors and frequency, too. That's kind of cool. I will rip them off. Let's see. I like that. All right, so that's pretty cool. I'm not going to bother with the frequency, but it has a cap tester. Millivolt. Hmm, okay, that's cool. At least it tells you what mode you're in. Right there in the right-hand corner. Yeah, the instructions kind of suck. They're not really de uh, detailed. And it's like 50 million different languages. But... Okay. So this is actually one of my primary testers right here. It uh, you know, does frequency, uh, temperature, transistors, capacitors. I've actually did this for like, like 15 years now. A long time. But... Uh, all right, guys. Cool. Pretty cool. Not bad. Forty bucks. You're trying to scare me.